So this question says the measure of two complementary angles are 12q minus 9 and 8q plus 14. So we have two complementary angles. That means that those two angles, I'll just draw a picture so you can understand it. Those two angles make up a right angle right here. So I'm just going to randomly draw what these two angles might be. So maybe you'd have this angle here is 12q minus 9 and this angle here is 8q plus 14. That's, that's what we have here. It says find the measure of the angle. So what this means is 12q minus 9, that angle, plus 8q plus 14, that angle. If you add those two angles together, you'll get 90 degrees because that's what it means to be complementary. They add up to 90. So what we need to do now to find out what those angles are is solve this equation, this algebra equation, linear equation specifically, for q. So adding like terms, you get 20q plus 14 minus 9 is 5. 20q plus 5 equals 90. Now 20q subtract 5 from both sides. 20q equals 85. So q equals 85 over 20, which can be reduced. Each of those can be divided by 5. So if you divide uh, 20 by 5, you get 4. And if you divide 85 by 5, you get 17, I believe. Yeah, 17 over 4. So that would be the simplified fraction of that. So now it says find the measure of the angles. Well, now we got to plug that back in to each one of these things right here. So we're plugging in 17 over 4. So 12 times 17 over 4 minus 9. That's going to be one of your angles. Now let me show you a little trick here. The reason I kept this and I reduced it is because now you can see that these are going to cancel out. This is like 12 over 1. The 12 divided by the 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 3 times 17 minus 9 would give you your answer. 3 times 17, again I'm showing you some mental math, 3 times 17 is like 3 times 10 plus 7. That's what I'm thinking in my head. So that's equal to, distributing it, that's equal to 30 plus 21. So this is 51. 3 times 17 is 51. And 51 minus 9 would be 42. So 42 is that angle. Let's do the other one now. Let's take this equation, 8 times q plus 14. So plugging q into there, q again is 17 over 4. What's the trick I showed you? Divide the 4 and the 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 17, well that's 2 times 10, which is 20, plus 2 times 7, which is 14. So that's 34, in case you couldn't just do that straight in your head. 34 plus 14 is 48. So 42 and 48, those are your two answers. So that would be A.